the MG4 EV has just been given the green light with the semi-solid state battery version on the way. Pre-sales have already started, so you can uh, lock it in and go and buy one. Prices are not actually announced yet until next month, and then deliveries are expected to be before the end of this year in 2025. So this could be the first time that we've seen a semi-solid state battery in a truly mass market vehicle that you can go and buy, not an expensive flagship or a premium vehicle or anything like that. Hello folks, my name is Ben Alexander. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Also, uh, a very big thank you to all of the patrons on Patreon and YouTube members. Their names are on screen now. You make it very possible for me to do these videos. Thank you very much. MG has given this MG4 a softer, uh, more rounded design. I actually think it's better looking than the older one, but I really think only slightly though. And uh, yeah, more rounded design compared to the sharper lines of the older one. And it's also a little bit bigger, technically speaking, with production as well starting in mid-2025. So about now, actually, in China. And then sales kicking off in August for this new one, which is right now, this month. Looks like a fantastic car. A couple of weird oddities, a couple of quirks. But generally, it just seems to be bang on the money. It's a brilliant car. Um, one of the things that I'm really keen to see them address is the wheel size looks a bit small, weirdly small, a bit like a shopping cart or something. I'm fairly sure it will sell well in Australia, though, when it comes to Australia. So the standard version comes with a 120 kilowatt rear wheel drive motor with either, this is in China, a 43 kilowatt hour battery or 54 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack. That's in China, obviously. So prices are starting from equivalent of 10,000 US dollars in uh, China, making it one of the cheapest fully electric vehicles or hatchback vehicles in the world right now out of all the proper ones. Not the little silly toy ones, but all the proper normal ones that you or I, basically, if you're from England or Australia, you would consider it a reasonable modern hatchback. The big story, though, is that alongside these regular versions, Saik, MG's parent company, Saik, it's, it's, the, it's the state, basically, Saik is owned by the state in China, will offer a semi-solid state battery option Pricing for that also will be revealed in September, so in a few weeks' time, with deliveries before the year's out, which is a big deal, the fact that that's confirmed. So this year we're actually going to see some semi-solid state batteries get delivered. A lot of people will have heard of solid state batteries, and they use a solid electrolyte in the battery instead of a liquid or a um, you know sort of gel in uh, traditional lithium-ion packs. That means you'll get, effectively, higher density, energy density, faster charging, and it's, it's safer, basically. Semi-solid state batteries are halfway there. Just to clarify, before a, cle a keyboard genius states that you can either only have, you know, uh, a solid state battery or a non-solid state battery, nothing else or nothing in between, for sure. You can have variants of this, hence the, the semi-solid state chemistry. You just can. They still use some liquid electrolyte, but replace part of it with a solid or a gel-like material. This improves energy density quite a lot, actually, and stability without extreme manufacturing challenges of uh, full, uh, full solid state chemistry. So this is why it's very compelling. It's very complex, frankly, and I'm not a battery chemist. I obviously talk about it a lot but I'm not actually a battery chemist. So think of it kind of like moving from regular milk to thicker milk. Clearly, I'm not a battery chemist. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's, 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 not, it's just a slight change to the recipe, but it makes a very big deal. In this MG4, that could effectively mean you'll get longer range. I'll get into the numbers in a second. Longer range without really increasing the pack size, faster charging times, better thermal stability, which is a big deal. That helps in hot climates and reduces the, the risk of a fire. Until now, semi-solid state batteries have mostly been in low volume niche cars, premium cars, concept cars. And so it's all it's passed, they've passed all the tests with it basically. So the MG4 can actually be the first one that makes it mainstream, which is an amazing thing. In Australia, MG has confirmed a new front wheel drive version of the MG4 as well. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? It's very well known to be a rear wheel drive car and it handles brilliant. So yeah, it will join the lineup in Q2 2026 next year, uh, likely under the name the MG4 EV Urban because they've trademarked that name locally in Australia. They haven't confirmed the semi-solid state battery for export, uh, but if it works in China, it's almost certainly going to come out of China and be exported, and it will only be a matter of time before it reaches global markets. So it will be better in hot climates. 
And so they will be thinking to try and sell it in Australia, undoubtedly. A semi-solid state MG4 priced anywhere near, and I mean literally anywhere near, the current level would shake up the market somewhat. And it's already undercutting rivals on price as well. I mean, if you compare it to uh, the Volkswagens, for example, uh, the MG4 and with improved range and safety and that sort of stuff and quicker charging, it could make entry-level EVs far more appealing to first-time buyers because 30% of first-time EV buyers are still somewhat concerned about fire safety and range, for example, both of those two things, and that was uh, shown by a recent study by a company called Ovo. There's a bigger ripple effect as well. Once the mainstream manufacturers uh, like CATL or BYD or you know, MG, for example, starts to bring semi-solid state or solid state as well to the market. That kind of means that everything else before that is seen as very dated immediately. So that will mean that uh, they, they put pressure on brands like Hyundai, Volkswagen, Toyota, who are still years away from really offering anything similar to uh, try harder, put more money into development. And currently, I think that would also mean that they'd have to lower the prices of the cars that they're now selling, like if, if Toyota is selling a nickel manganese cobalt battery pack, for example, and then you can go buy this uh, this you know semi-solid state by MG, that would effectively mean that basically people will be very tempted to buy the MG based on the fact that it's got this new chemistry. It's a basic thing. That's exactly what happened with BYD when they really came to market in uh, 2020, 2021 with the BYD blade battery. Basically, everybody wants a blade battery now, almost. So the MG4 EV is about to do something most people thought would uh, only happen in a premium model, which is a big deal, that they've put semi-solid state batteries into a, an ordinary car for regular people that, you know, normal people can afford without being well off. So MG has been climbing uh, fast in EV sales in the first half of 2025. Sake Motor, MG's parent company, delivered 500 or more than 580,000 EVs and plug-in hybrid vehicles worldwide, up nearly 40% from the first half of last year. So 40% year-on-year increase. The MG4 alone has uh, sold more than 200,000 units globally since its launch in 2022 and uh, in the UK it's now regularly among the top three best-selling EVs and also just for, for amongst the reviewers as well in the UK competing with the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 and in fairness the UK has some of the most fantastic driving roads that I've been on and the MG4 drives brilliantly so kind of you know they go hand in hand makes sense Here's why this matters though. The semi-solid state battery in the MG4 could have an, have an energy density in the range of 280 to 300 watt hours per kilogram. So that's 30 to 40% more than a typical LFP battery pack today. It really depends which one you're talking about. Obviously the current ones you'll get in an Atto 3, for example, maybe 150, 155, something like that. But the Gen 2 blade battery coming out very, very, very soon that will be 200, 210, something like that. So in, in basic English, that means that you're going to get more range for the same size and, uh, yeah, the same range with a smaller, lighter battery and increased efficiency because of that, because it's just simply a light... It makes the car lighter. And when you look at the charging speed as well, a very well-designed semi-solid state battery pack could cut 10 to 80% charging times down maybe by 25 to 35 percent roughly speaking compared to a regular lfp pack so if the current mg4 uh 54 kilowatt hour version for example takes 40 minutes to get from 10 to 80 percent on a 150 kilowatt charger then basically it means it would probably be 26 to 30 minutes roughly speaking global ev battery prices averaged about 139 dollars us dollars per kilowatt hour in 2024, according to Bloomberg. LFP sales are cheaper at around $95 per kilowatt hour, but semi-solid state packs uh, will start higher, probably $160, $170, $180 dollars per kilowatt hour in early production. But here's the thing, even at those prices, because the MG4 is built in very large numbers in China with scale, it could still undercut most rivals on total vehicle costs. For example, if you compare it to a Volkswagen, MG4. Basically, in that sense, you're still getting a cheaper car with a better product at the end, so that's what we're talking about here. Also, 98% of the world's lithium 
iron phosphate batteries come from China. And so in China, they're, it's obviously quite well known at this point. They pay about $60 per kilowatt, maybe $55, $65, $60 dollars per kilowatt hour for their batteries because they kind of they make them there. So that's why it's a lot cheaper for them. But what we're paying in Europe and Australia and that sort of thing is, is more than that. Question for you. If MG bought this exact model to Australia in 2026 with a semi-solid state battery and a price tag, for example, in Australia, under 40 grand, would you buy one or are you still definitely just waiting for actual solid state battery tech?